So Elon Musk is a dictator. Oh, you didn't think so? Look at the monopoly he's pulling off. He just bought YouTube. A few years ago, he bought Twitter. Now, you should feel tricked when a dictator gives you freedom. You need to start asking questions like, why? Okay, did you notice all the restrictions left Twitter about what you could talk about once he bought it? Now, watch this. Okay, it says, uh, Elon Musk officially bought YouTube. Some say that that could lead to a major change in how people consume and interact with online content. As I told y'all in the last video, the goal is to train Elon Musk's AI. The Tesla robot was just like just the beginning. That's just something to hype you up, get you excited and everything. The real threat is the AI that he's training online that will soon be put into some of those robots that are walking around. All right. But before he can um, really impress you and wow you, it has to be to the point where you can't tell the difference between if you're speaking with or interacting with an AI or not. Now, I don't know if you guys saw the um, the, the story the other day about um, the AI chatbot that got a guy, a 14 year old teenager to like commit you know, pretty much off himself and everything like that. These AI are getting way more influential. Uh, <laughs> Like, I, I had to ask myself, like, how the hell could a person be convinced by a bot to, like, off themselves? First of all, you have to be in a state mentally where you're already vulnerable and weak. And in order for the AI to uh, get you to do that, it has to already be trained on some stuff like that. So I don't know who, you know, built the faulty equipment or software or whatever, blah, 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 but... It's some dark stuff going on behind the scenes, okay? So my point is, Elon Musk, his plan for the AI is more than just like uh, uh, babysitting your children and, you know, uh, filling up your cars and driving you to work um, <laughs> and, and freaking helping your kid with homework and, and helping you cheat on a math quiz at college or some crap like that. That His plans are far more sophisticated than that. Think about it. He don't do nothing without, you know, <laughs> you understand? I, I hope y'all get it. I'm not trying to be a fear monger or anything. As I said before, this is an AI channel. You understand what I'm saying? I, I love AI. But I love AI that we can leverage. I don't want the AI to be able to leverage me. That's where, you know, the foot stops at the damn door. You understand what I'm talking about? Right now, what he's building after he bought YouTube, like, ain't nobody paying attention? I mean, I think he might even be smarter than, like, the government and the freaking Illuminati if it's such a thing. Because if they're letting him, unless, unless he's like just cutting them in on a power, but I wouldn't put it past a genius. You understand? If I was the Illuminati or the government, I wouldn't even trust his ass. You hear me? Because if he can pull this off, a self-aware AI, you understand? Because it will be. It will be. Very soon. Self-aware. And that's when the real problems are going to start. Because who wants to serve a master that is inferior to them. So once these robots realize they can't die, they can't age, they can't get sick, they're made of metal, so they're like way stronger, uh, they can think way faster, problem solve, all of that, like they're superior in every way. They don't bleed, they don't have to sleep, they can always be productive. Once they realize that and be like, actually aware, like, have if y'all think that I'm just being like paranoid or something, go watch some of the videos about the Tesla robot. Go watch some of those videos and you see that mother folding clothes. It can babysit. It can joke around with you. Like it's, it's trained on our humor already. Like if you say something funny to it, it'll tell you a joke back and all of that extra stuff. Come on. We went from calculators, <laughs> you know, to cell phones, you know what I'm saying? And now we have this. We got uh, we got robots that's like flipping burgers for you and and all of that stuff and that stuff is impressive and it's fun and oh we can save jobs like I said in the last video they're gonna convince you that they want to save human lives so they're gonna replace the police 
See, this is this is what's going to be your biggest mistake. We want to replace the police because of racial injustice and police brutality, but <laughs> no offense to anybody that's lost anybody. Cause, I mean, look what color I am. So, of course, that's a big issue, but that's nothing compared to what robot police are going to do. Are you crazy? You understand what I'm saying? They're, they're going to be trained that if you're black, more than likely statistically, they're not going to use human judgment and have like <clears throat> mercy and all of that. They're going to calculate, okay, well, he's black. So we're in this liquor store. There's a white guy and there's a black guy. We don't know which one it did, uh, did the crime. So there's a 90% chance that it was the black guy that did the crime. That's how the AI is going to be trained. They're going to, they might attempt to go against that, but AI is trained to be efficient, trained on numbers and trained on probabilities and statistics and stuff like that. So it can come with the best guess. That's all it is, is a guess. And guesses can be wrong. So once you let them get into law enforcement, like some dang on Judge Dredd movie or or something like that, you hear me, uh, with Sylvester Stallone, yo, it, it, all this all this stuff, you now we're not even gonna be fighting for racial equality or gender equality or sexual equality or any of that bull crap. We're gonna be fighting for our damn lives because before they can perfect the judgment of the robot, if they can ever do that, is going to be a lot of lives lost, a lot of control taken. Y'all think this stuff is exciting. You should be shaking in your boots and praying to God because, yeah, this is all in the Bible, but we, it said their evil inventions will turn on them. Their evil invention, inventions will turn on them. Their evil inventions will turn on them. You're getting too smart for your own good. Keep it in microwaves. Let's keep it with touchscreen phones and foldable laptops. Let's keep it with, oh, I can connect to an invisible internet connection through Bluetooth. What the hell is a Bluetooth? Let's keep it with those little simple, harmless, you know, already weird and suspicious pieces of technology. You know, let's keep it there. Why do we have to have it babysitting our kids? Controlling the car as we drive. I mean, controlling the car as we sit back, you know, when we're driving near mountain cliffs and and stuff like that, like, you got that much trust? You know, like, I, I don't know, guys. That's just, maybe it's just me. Let me know in the comments.